Tryptophan versus melatonin for sleep. What is better? There's a very large population of people taking melatonin to help them sleep. I don't recommend it because what happens is you're taking this actual hormone over a period of time, the receptors in the pineal gland can start to downgrade to the point where you need more and more of it to create the same effect. And that happens with pretty much all hormones. So I don't recommend taking melatonin to help you sleep. I recommend taking the precursor, tryptophan. Okay. Now tryptophan is an amino acid and it turns into 5-HTP, 5-hydroxytryptophan, which then turns into serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter. It's a hormone-like communication in the body. And serotonin has everything to do with bringing your mood up, uh, happiness, uh, cravings for carbs, and it can act as an antidepressant. But serotonin then turns into melatonin, and that is the hormone that induces sleep. And what stimulates melatonin is darkness. So I highly recommend, instead of taking melatonin, take tryptophan. Now tryptophan is cool because it has virtually no side effects, and it can act as an antidepressant, and it has anxiolytic properties, that means anti-anxiety properties, as well as helping you sleep at night. Now, just as a side note, if you're on psychiatric medication and you also take tryptophan, get with your doctor so you can make this transition very, very slowly because you don't want to end up in a situation where you're um, having too much uh, serotonin, for example. That's a whole syndrome that can come with a, a bunch of side effects. And so if you are on any psychiatric medications, don't take tryptophan or melatonin without checking with your doctor. Now, as a side note too, with tryptophan, 90% uh, of all your serotonin in your body is made by your friendly bacteria. So I did a video recently on just taking a probiotic to increase your serotonin. But if you're on a psych drug, again, check with your doctor so you can make this transition off your medication very slowly um, because you don't want to either come off something too quickly or add something else to the mix and create a severe and create an imbalance. Now, one big mistake people make when they take tryptophan, tryptophan competes with other amino acid. So anytime you take tryptophan with a, another protein, it won't work. So you always want to take tryptophan on an empty stomach. But here's the thing, when you're consuming food, you're not consuming tryptophan in an isolated amino acid. You're consuming it with other amino acids. And so it's very difficult for tryptophan to go through the blood-brain barrier and create the effect that you want. Now, I know some people are going to say, well, what about um, turkey, right? Turkey has tryptophan and that makes people sleep. No, that's false information. The reason why people get tired after eating turkey on Thanksgiving is because they add it to the carbohydrates, okay? Because anytime you combine carbs with protein, you're going to really spike insulin and that's going to make you tired. All right, this is my summary on tryptophan and melatonin. Thanks for watching.